Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's show is going to be all about those pecans. Is it pecans or is it pecans? Leave me a comment down below. So that is right. We are going to break out my pecans from smoking pecan. If you've never heard about them or have never seen them, I'll have information on them down below. We are going to do a pecan smoked turkey, a caramel pecan crumble, and how about a pumpkin pecan cobbler? So look, if that all sounds good to you, if you can do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel, there's a future upload. And the first thing we have to do is talk about the injector. You're gonna need an injector for this one as we are gonna be injecting this bird with some curry gold butter. So if you've never injected a bird with anything, the, uh, the first thing to do is to pick a good injector, get a thin needle, and you wanna go in and out of the breast or in and out of anything that you are injecting, and you wanna slowly pull out as you are injecting in, and be careful not to over inject. I like to do about four spots in each side of the breast, and that should give me a well injected bird. So once you got that bird injected, it is time to talk about rubs. I am going to go with a steak butter rub. I feel those flavors are going to mesh well with what I am trying to accomplish. You can pick any type of poultry rub that you like and you want to get plenty on that turkey. Both sides of the breast do underneath and do not forget to get some rub inside that cavity. Alrighty guys, you got the bird injected. You've got the rub on it. The next step to do is to get on over to that pit and fire it up. The pellets that I am featuring on today's show are by a company called Smoke and Pecan. The first thing you need to know is these are made from 100% pecans. There are no fillers, there are no dyes, there are no hardwoods used. Looking at these pellets right off the bat, you are gonna notice they are darker in color. You will also get less ash and also a very distinctive flavor. So what I wanna do now is let's jump on over to my Halo Prime 1500 pellet grill. Let's get it loaded down with pecan pellets and let's fire it up and let's set that temperature to 325 Fahrenheit. So once that pit has reached that temperature of 300 and a quarter, the next step is to get that bird on being mindful of exactly where your hot spot is in the pit. My fire pot sits right in the center, so I will push off my bird to the side of that, and also my bird will be flanked down with two chef temp thermo gauges, one inside the breast and one inside the pit. So during hours two, three, and four, I like to go in and check my turkey. You want to make sure it is cooking evenly across the surface. You do not want no hot spots in the pit where one part of the bird is cooking a little bit more faster than the other. So a rotation on those hours certainly helps. I will take this bird right up to that perfect temperature of 165, thickest part of the breast. So our bird has reached that perfect temperature of 165 Fahrenheit. Let's go in, let's get it off, let's get it on the board where we will let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes. We will take off one, carving one slice just so you guys can have a quick little look. And then it is time to turn our attention because I've got a pumpkin pecan cobbler that I've got to show you how to make. First thing you are gonna wanna do is set your pit temp to 350 Fahrenheit. Prepare yourself a nine by 13 baking dish. You want that well greased. At that point, you are gonna combine together your pumpkin, your evaporated milk. You gotta do some sugar, vanilla extract, and also some ground cinnamon. I will have full ingredient list down in the description. Once you've got all that goodness combined together, you want to add that to your 9 by 13 well-greased baking dish. You can move that to the side now because you are going to get your yellow cake mix. Add to that into a bowl. Get yourself two eggs, a little bit of water, and of course some oil. Again, full ingredient list is down in the description. You are going to give that a little bit of a mix. Once mixed, take that mixture and you are going to combine it with your pumpkin in the 9 by 13 baking dish. So you want to spread that evenly across the top. Sprinkle a little bit of that remaining cake mix right on top of that. 
Once the remaining cake mix has been applied, you are gonna get your one cup of chopped pecans, layer them across the top, then get yourself one cup of melted butter and pour all that goodness right across the pecans. Then get all that inside your pit because you are going to go one hour, like I said, at 350 Fahrenheit. So look, we will allow that pumpkin to bake off for that one hour. It is now time to turn our attention to that caramel pecan crumble. So look, the first step, you are gonna wanna set your oven temp to 350 Fahrenheit. Get yourself three and a half cups of pecans. You are gonna do a loose chop on them, glare them out on a tray, get them in your oven, and bake them off for seven minutes. As those are baking off, it is time to prepare the crust. Get your flour, get your powdered sugar, get three fourth cups of ice cold butter. You're gonna wanna cube that up. Add all that goodness together. If you've got a food processor, that makes it a little bit more easy. If not, just press them, press them, and press them. You are gonna combine all that goodness into a crumble or a coarse meal. At that point, I am gonna use a cast iron skillet and I am gonna layer the bottom of that cast iron skillet, including all sides of the walls. From there, what I am gonna do is I am gonna get my cast iron skillet, I am gonna get it in the pit because we wanna bake that off for about 20 minutes or until the sides start to brown. And now what I've been waiting for to do all day, it is time to make that caramel sauce. Combine your brown sugar, your honey, two third cups of butter, and also three tablespoons of whipping cream. Get all that in a three quart saucepan and bring it up to a light simmer. Once you've allowed that to simmer for about five, six minutes, get those toasted off pecans because you are gonna add that to the caramel mixture. Once you've got all that incorporated, go get that crust that you have baked off because you are gonna add that caramel mixture into your cast iron skillet. Get it inside the pit where you are gonna bake it off for 25 five to 30 minutes. So once that pumpkin has reached the desired temp, we will get it in the house. We will get it on a warming rack. We will follow that up with the caramel in the house on a warming rack. We will get all that goodness. We will get it down there to the shack where we will finish up the show. First off, I gotta thank Smoking Pecans for allowing me to cook for them. And if you think you have tasted pecans before, purchasing them at the store, I have AB'd these pecans to those pecans, and there is definitely a difference. These just taste a lot more fresher than store purchased pecans. So look, what I wanna do here is I gotta turn our attention to the board. I wanna get this stuff while it's hot. We will scoop it all, we will take a look at it all, and then we will come back and talk Talk about it. Alrighty, first up, we got to get that pumpkin in there. We got to do all this, obviously, why it's still warm, because we are going to follow this up with some ice cream. And of course, some of that caramel crumble into the, uh, into the um, uh, little dish there. And here comes my ice cream. We are going to go with a vanilla pecan ice cream. <laughs> Oh man, this is good. Alrighty, so look, that is that, and here it is on the board, and we do have our turkey pushed off to the side. I did a uh, off-camera taste test on that, and I can tell you these pecans hit a little bit different than a uh, wood-fired uh, a wood-fired pellet. You can definitely taste a uh, a pecan-y, a kind of a nutty, smoky flavor. It is definitely more pronounced than maybe a, uh, a wood-fired shell. You owe it to yourself to definitely give it a shot. Here is our pecans right here. Let's go in on that pumpkin and give that a, a taste test first. And then, of course, we will close it out with this caramel. Oh man, that is freaking through the roof, man. So first off, this pumpkin cobbler, it, it, it's nice and light, man. It, it, with, with, with that cake mixture in there, it is, um, it is nice and light, it is airy, it is loaded out with pecans. I mean, that is a 10 out of 10, there is no doubt about it, man. This is a, uh, a must-make for your Thanksgiving table. You will certainly love it. 
Now, of course, not to be outdone is our caramel. Guys, it is sweet, man. It is loaded with calories. There is no doubt about it, but hey, man, it is Thanksgiving. I am telling you, man, if this was a 10 out of 10, this is a 15 out of 10. This is, this is through the roof, man. These are all my flavors. This is everything that I like. I am not a huge pumpkin eater, so that's why I bring this down to that 10 out of 10, where I am all over the sweets. I am all over that caramel, and I am telling you, man, that is... Uh, with all those pecans in there, man, those toasted off, that is that is killer, man. This is one heck of a dessert right there. All righty, guys, so look, that is gonna close out this show. Again, I wanna thank Smoke and Pecan for sending out all these goodies to the channel. I mean, it is gonna up my Thanksgiving, there is no doubt about it. I've got all information down in the description. You got plenty of time. Go down there, go order yourself some pellets, go order yourself some pecans. You will definitely, definitely not regret it. There is no doubt about it, man. And that is gonna close out this show. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving. And until next time, we will see you soon.